Um, I've lived here most, well, pretty much all my life. Uh, I've been going to school here. Morecambe is very run down, and everything that ha was here has sort of just been left. Not anything done with, not sort of put investment back into. And I think at the moment with COVID, everyone's just sort of negative and needs something to boost the community. There used to be loads to do all around here. There used to be uh, Frontierland, and it used to have the biggest Ferris wheel in Europe, I think. And there used to be laser tag and Super Bowl with a massive arcade. But slowly all those things have just gone away and it's just kind of a bit, I don't want to say destitute, but pretty much run down. We, there's lots of investments going on, you can see them, but they're not really for young people. They're more just upkeep of the area rather than for leisure in the community. Uh, just growing up around here, I've always wanted to know what it was like when there was so much buzz about Morecambe because it used to be known as like the Brighton of the North and I've never seen it like that. So if I could make that happen, if I could some way be a part of the sort of pushing force into something amazing happening, that would mean a lot to me. The pandemic has just brought on so much negativity and we're all just stuck indoors and I think we really need to sort of embrace the environment and sort of be a bit more positive about it. Um, so I got an email and I thought it sounded really interesting so I thought I'd get involved. The Northwest Youth Region is a campaign uh, made up of young people which was originally started by Escape to Make and we're just trying to raise awareness and hopefully encourage the bringing about of the Eden Project to Morecambe to sort of secure Eden North. So the Eden Project is sort of a way for a community to come together and sort of be enthusiastic about the environment around them and to enhance it and be sort of an escape from everyday life to come into these beautiful places that they've put together. We'd like to eventually, hopefully, be sort of a youth board for the Eden Project. As young people, we want to make a change. We don't really get a say in a lot else that happens. Everything starts with something small. So if I can be a part of that to bring a change that's going to be hit hopefully permanently, I think that's going to be such an achievement for myself. I remember when we found out that schools were shut in, I remember crying for so long. We all missed out on like having the last day of leavers and missing sort of prom and saying goodbye to a lot of my friends who weren't going to stay on at sixth form and who were going to go away to colleges and such. I've really been looking forward to prom. The, I think I bought my prom dress in October. I was that excited for it and I've never gotten to wear it. And that was quite devastating because you also don't get the experience of renting a nice car and being with all your friends and just enjoying the last time I get to spend together. Instead, it all just kind of halted. And it was like all the work that I'd put in to like academically put in all this work after I'd, my mocks hadn't gone very well. And just all just to come to nothing because exams were cancelled. And I was going to miss out on so much. And it just, it was just a horrible feeling that you're just not going to get to do what you wanted to do that you've been thinking about for so long. And it's just, terrible. <laughs> I think I kind of enjoyed lockdown at first because you could just sort of lie in, not do much, a bit of time to relax, watching movies, reading a lot of books I've, which I've gotten into at the moment reading. It's so nice to escape into a book away from Covid and st just stuck at home all the time. I've been doing quizzes, online quizzes, with my friends, sort of trying to see all, each other 
and having fun, so dressing up into different costumes and doing really random quizzes and playing games together online. It's not the same as doing it face to face, but kind of helps take up some of the time. And then a few weeks in, it was just getting such a slug and there wasn't anything to do. It was just so boring. You just wanted to get out and just, just go out and do stuff, whatever it is. When I'm feeling a bit stressed, I like to go out for walks up Torres and Barrow, which I have a lot of nice memories. I used to go walking up there um, a lot when I was younger, sort of after, after school, I used to go up there and there used to be a tree and it sort of caved over itself. So it was like a little cave and there was abandoned crates and we used to all just sit in there and play make-believe games. Um, and I used to walk up at the top. I used to, I used to have not so good mental health. So when I was feeling really fr frustrated, I'd walk to the top and I'd scream and because it's so windy, no one can hear you. It was really nice. Because you can see from Ashton Memorial in Lancaster to Eastham and across the bay. It's just nice to sort of, you can relax up there because there's not everything around you sort of being a bit like, cope with this, cope with that. 